As a country of islands, Japan has long helped feed itself from the sea. Miyako is just one of many small fishing towns on Japan's northeast coast. The fishing fleet here was decimated when the giant wave came ashore. There are only around 20 boats left. We have about 1,200 members in the Fishermen's Union in Miyako. We don't even yet know how many members we lost in the tsunami. Some of the bigger boats survived because they were not in port. This captain was 50 kilometers out to sea when the quake hit, one of the safest places to be to avoid the colossal wave that swiftly followed. We didn't feel the tsunami. In the ocean, they don't hit violently. The sea slowly rises and then it falls. Even if these ships were able to sail, there'd be little point. There is no market, no ice factory, no cranes to lift the catch ashore, no trucks. I don't have a boat anymore. It's finished. It was flushed into Miyako town. What can I do? The union hasn't been able to call a meeting. Even the market is gone. Seichi's boat couldn't return to port for three days due to abnormal currents and bizarre whirlpools, as well as the debris that receding water pulled out to sea. Then there's the Fukushima nuclear plant spewing out radiation. Luckily, it's over 300 kilometers south of here. I don't think there'll be much of an effect around here. The ocean currents don't come this way. Seichi has been a fisherman for 50 years and still does not fear the sea. And that's just as well. The future of this part of Japan is relying on survivors like him so it can feed itself again.